What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Structure 2024. So in this lesson, so we are going to learn how to add structural walls to the interior and exterior surfaces of the stairways that is located on our northeast and southeast corner of the structure. Okay, now, so what we're going to do first is we're going to use the imported CAD drawing as our guide for the placement of our structural walls. So what I'm going to do, since in this view, the imported CAD drawing is hidden, so I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. So by uh, typing VV, okay, so VV, it will open the visibility graphic overrides or you can also click the properties and then after that you can look for visibility graphic overrides and then edit all right and then after that so let's go to the imported category so if you click this one so you will be able to see here the cad drawing that we have imported in our project so right now the visibility is turned off so i'm gonna tick this one to turn it on and then i'm going to select here okay and that's it so it will now show our imported CAD drawing. Now, if you do not want to move accidentally your CAD drawing, so what you can do is you can click the CAD drawing and then after that, you can click the pin button here. So it locks a model element in place so that you will not be able to move it accidentally. So you can pin that one. Okay, so this is where we are going to place our structural wall. So we're going to place one here, this one here, and then another wall here, this wall here. Okay, and then same on our southeast stairway here. Okay, so let's do this. So to create a structural wall, so from the structure tab, I'm going to select here structural wall. So let's click this one. And then after that, from my properties, I'm going to change the properties of the wall. So instead, I'm going to use here generic 12 inches masonry. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. Let me click that. And then here, as you can see for my structural wall, so the placement will going to be from my current level from 0 to floor up to 0, 1 entry level okay so meaning to say it will go down so from second floor it will go down to zero one entry level okay so that will gonna be the depth of my wall and then for my location line i'm gonna change this to finish face exterior so let me click that one and then here on my draw panel for the place structural wall tab so i'm going to use here peak lines okay so peak lines and then I do not want this to have an offset. So I'm just going to make that zero. Just make sure it's zero. Okay, and then let's do this. So I'm going to pick this side here. So make sure the preview is on the left side. You see that dotted line. So that's the preview of the wall that you will be creating. So it should be on the left side. Okay, not like this one. So as you can see, the dotted line is on the right side. Okay, so that's the preview. So just make sure the preview is on the left side. Okay, so once you see that dotted line on the left side, so I'm going to click now to place my wall. And then that's it. So after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this wall up to this point here. But I'm going to select first modify to terminate the tool. Okay, and then after that, so let's click now the wall. You see that blue node, so you can hold your left click and then drag that and snap that to that corner. And that's it. Okay, so if you're going to check that one out in the 3D view, so this is how it looks like. So I'm going to select default 3D view and there you go. So there's now our wall there. Okay, so I'm going to open up the zero to floor. And then from the view tab, I'm going to select here tile views. So I can also see the 3D view here on my right side. So this is where I am working on. So here's my floor plan. So now I'm going to put a wall here. So it's the same procedure. Let's go to structure, select wall, structural, click that. And then properties. So same depth. Okay, so from 
level 2 going down to 0, 01 entry level location line is finish face exterior okay so this time i'm going to use the line tool okay so line tool and then i do not want to create a chain of walls so i'm going to uncheck this one uh, since i only want to create a single wall here okay and then before that i need to change the type of the wall so i'm going to use here um generic or I just use exterior 8 inches concrete. Okay, so let me click this one. There you go. And let me now pick here. So I'm going to pick here. Click that. There you go. And then I'm going to click that all the way to this area here. As you can see, it's aligning to the other wall that I have created earlier. So I'm going to click that. And there you go. So there's now the wall. So I'm going to select here, modify. All right, so there's the wall. So I now have two walls here. So that's for the northeast. So I'm going to create a couple of walls here on my southeast. So let's zoom in and same procedure. So let's go to structure, wall, structural. Okay, so I will use the exterior 8 inches concrete using line tool. Uncheck the chain, finish face exterior, depth 0, 01 entry level. Okay, so I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to pick another point here. There you go. Select modify to terminate the tool. So as you can see, there's now that particular wall. Okay, and then let's click on our, let's create another wall here, this side. So let's select structural wall. And then from the properties, let's look for generic 12 inches masonry. So let's click that. Let's use peak lines. Same procedure, location line, finish face, exterior, depth, zero, 01 entry level. Okay, and then let me now click this wall here. Click that one, and there you go. Select modify to terminate. And then let's select this wall because I'm going to extend that up to this corner by clicking and holding that blue node or blue dot and then aligning to the other wall. There you go. And then selecting modify. All right. So there you have it. So I now have here my structural walls on my northeast and southeast stairway so by the way if you want to change for example the property of the wall that you just created okay so let's say you want to change the base offset this one so you can change that so let's say oh i want this wall to be going down like one foot so you can type the base offset here one and then foot symbol and then enter Okay, so it should be negative so that it will go down. So negative because as you can see, it goes up. So now it, it goes down. So if it is negative value, it will go down. If it is positive value, it will go up. So like for example, I want the base offset to be 5 feet. So I'm going to change this to 5, positive 5 feet and then apply. And there you go. So that's the base offset. Okay, so let me just go back and change that to 0. And then apply. There you go. Okay. So there you have it. Okay. So that's it for our simple exercise of learning how to add structural walls. Okay. So if you have any comments, questions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.